What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay. We have traveled many miles to reach yep. this fishing destination. We actually drove three hours through the night <laughs> to get here. I think we started at about five. I think it's about eight o'clock right now. And not gonna lie, that drive is brutal. But we are excited for today's video because we are doing something that we haven't done in quite some time and that is trout fishing. Now there are some streams that are a little bit closer to us that we could have easily went to. But this place is legendary and we usually have better success in catching larger fish. I know that's what you guys like to see on the channel. So we're excited to wet a line. Just now getting our first glimpse of the river. Looks and good. yeah, it looks dang good. I'm not sure if you can see that, but look at that beautiful river right there. That water is like bluish green tint. Looks nasty. It looks like we're about to catch some fish. <laughs> now we were thinking it was supposed to be super hot today. So it's kind of another reason why we wanted to come out here just to you know, escape the heat, do some fishing, cool off in the water. But we're actually graced with some good overcast conditions this morning. So we may not get too hot after all. Should be nice, should be good. We're excited, we're gonna get down here. We're gonna start fishing. If you're excited for today's trout fishing mission, go ahead and give this video a like while you're at it. Subscribe to the channel and uh, let's go catch some big ones. The river looks absolutely amazing today. Got my feet in the water, it feels nice and cool. We're gonna start off by throwing this guy. This is my favorite trout weapon of all time. This is a trout magnet. I'm gonna start with throwing this little pink and white guy. And uh, it's got it suspended below a bobber. And we're gonna toss it and let it drift in the current. See if we can catch something on it. Fish on. There we go, Woo -hoo -hoo. airborne, there we go. That didn't take too long. First, I guess it's a rainbow? Yeah, first little rainbow of the day. Took no time, it was all over that trout magnet. And I love how these guys fight. Come here, big guy. Once you wet your hands, you get kind of slippery. There's the first rainbow of the day, probably about a 13 inch stalker sized fish. First one of the day, send it back. Fish on. Number two. He might be a little bit bigger. Can't really tell, but it's a nice fish. Oh, about the same size, about the same size. There we go. Second trout of the day, man. That three hour drive doesn't look so bad now. Hands are wet. Second trout of the day. Another nice little rainbow. There we go. That's a nicer fish, I think. Feels a little bit bigger. Oh, get out of that current. The guy is in the current. Look at this. Look how strong that fish is. Running straight at that tail race. Holy crap. Oh, well, that's a good one. That is not a bad trout. Come here, big guy. It's not a bad fish. Oh, he's got, he's got a bunch of crap in his mouth. What the heck? Look at this. Look at this. This thing has a whole liter in his mouth. Oh, he broke off somebody. Look at that. There is a braided line on the front connect to a swivel. And then down in there somewhere, there's a hook. And then there's my hook. What? That is so crazy. Let's get my hook out. Oh. Oops. I wanted to help that guy, but slipped out of my hands. All right, this first spot was pretty good for us. We caught some good fish, but now it's starting to downpour on us, and this rain is really cold, so we're gonna move upstream and see if we can catch anything. All right, here we go. I'm about to catch one. Oh, fish on, yeah. Ooh, come here. That feels like a good one. Oh, don't come off. Oh, come here. Woo! Dang, this fish is fighting so hard. 
Wow. Come here. Woo. Nice fish, Jay. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh no losing. These fish are hard to hold on. We're going to put this fish on the stringer, but so far, moving to this spot has been good for me. I've caught a little bit bigger fish. In the first spot, I was just catching tiny fish. So. <laughs> This is better. Yeah, and we kind of forgot that we were going to keep some fish to take home and eat later, so nice one to start off our stringer. Here, let me just, let me just stick that plunger there. Now we can't go nowhere. Woohoo! We're not going home hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going home hungry. I guess you're not. So the spot right here that we're fishing, the current is a little bit more swift than the spot we were first fishing. So it's making it a little bit more difficult to throw the trout magnet, but that's okay. We have swapped over to some bottom fishing tactics. Just got a split shot above a little number six bait holder hook. And we are baiting these up with shrimp and power bait. We're just kind of mixing it up, seeing which one they like the best. So far, it seems like they like the shrimp and that's usually the case, but we ain't afraid to mix things up. So with those little piece of shrimp down there, See if they'll eat it. There we go. Is that a giant? Guys, I got a big fish, I think. I think I got a big, big, big fish. Oh, it's a nice fish. He's just in that current, but it's a nice fish. I think it's the biggest one of the day. I think it's a good one. I haven't seen him yet, though. It just feels very weird. Okay, we're about to get a look at him. Oh, it's a nice one for sure. It's a nice one for sure. He's just fighting really hard. I think he had some fishing line on him or something. Oh, that's a good one. It's a good one. Okay, here he comes. Here he comes, Jay. To the nut. To the nut. Woo! -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Dang, it is a nice one. Whenever I first hooked this fish, I didn't think he was very big, but then he started fighting all crazy. I think that he might've got tangled up some fishing line or something, or just got head first in that current. But anyways, another nice fish. He kind of swallowed the hook a little bit, but it's a good thing he's a good size because he's going on this stringer. <gasps> oh, don't look it! <laughs> you got him. He almost wasn't going on the stringer. He was trying to go back out in the lake. All right, let's get him strung up. Now at least I have me a fish I can take home and eat now. <laughs> There we go, hooked up. Man, these fish are going crazy for these shrimp. Still have not connected with the giant yet, but these guys are just all over that shrimp. Like it's only out there for about four or five seconds before a fish picks it up. And it's been every cast basically, either getting a bite or catching a fish. Most of them this size, but that's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna wade through these guys and we're gonna get a big one. There he goes. All right guys, so we have wrapped up the fishing portion of today's episode. We caught a bunch of trout, just nothing super, super huge, like massive like we were looking for, but we probably caught 25, 30, maybe even 40 fish. I don't even know, we caught a bunch of them. You yeah. caught a lot. I didn't really <laughs> catch that many. Hey, you got the ones that kind of, we got, I think we ended up keeping three. We kind of forgot about keeping some fish and at the end we were like, we don't really, we don't really need that many. So yeah. we just put three on our stringer. I think they're yeah. all pretty good sized. They're kind of, they're kind of dead right now, but that's okay. We're going to throw them in the cooler. And uh, before we head out of here and head back to the house, we are going to actually go walk over to the hatchery and see what sorts of big fish are lurking in there because we were really wanting to see a big trout today. Yeah. And we, we we think there's not a better spot to do that than over at the hatchery. So let's go see what they're stocking in this river and hopefully we'll see some monsters in one of the cages. Wow guys, that drive home was very tough. Jay and I had to take a couple of turns each driving because it was we were both just so tired. We got up super early and you know, it's only a three hour drive, but dang, it wore us out. But anyways, we're back at the house now. We've taken a moment to rest up and we are out here and we are ready to clean up our bounty of rainbow trout. You know, not the largest trout in the world, but perfect eating size. And we only kept three. Uh, we, I guess we could have kept our full limit. You know, the limit in Arkansas is five per person, but 
Who needs all that trout? This is plenty. <laughs> so anyways, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you guys how we like to clean the trout. For those of you that maybe have never cleaned a trout before, never seen it done, there's several different ways you can do it. We're gonna show you like the most basic and easy way to do it. And all you basically do is just simply remove the head, remove the guts, and you're good to go. So that's exactly what we are going to do. So we're gonna start by just taking our fillet knife, taking this dude's head off. Easy. And then to remove the guts, you're going to stick the knife here in the trout's vent, make a little slice right here, and then it all will come out in one piece. So let's stick the knife in. Watch out for those pelvic fins. <laughs> kind of slippery, okay. And then you just reach in there and all of the insides come out basically just in one piece. See that? Easy. Throws in your gut bucket. I'm actually gonna pick my bucket up right here. And then we take a look into the open cavity. There you can see this black waistline. You're just gonna rake that out with your finger. Just pull it over your gut bucket. If this is gross to you, then you can just get like a water hose and just like spray the mess out of it with a water hose, but this is very, very effective. And then once you get that pulled out, then you can also go to your water hose and get that all rinsed out, get it all cleaned out. But that's Basically, all you have to do to clean a trout, doesn't look delicious right now, we're gonna wash it up, we're gonna throw it in our water bowl and get the other two fish cleaned up and then we'll take them inside, get them rinsed up and get prepared for the table. Well, it's the next day. We're not gonna lie. Whenever we got home last night, we were exhausted, so we totally just ordered pizza. But that is not gonna stop us tonight from eating this trout. And tonight's recipe is gonna be super simple and super delicious. And it's gonna consist of three ingredients, and that is onion, butter, and lemon pepper marinade. So let me show you how we're gonna put this all together. We're gonna start by stuffing the trout with butter. Gotta have lots of butter. And we're also gonna stuff it with onion. Next, we're gonna be adding our lemon pepper marinade and we're just gonna drizzle it over the top. As you can see, we've already scored the meat and that's gonna help absorb all the flavors into the fish. A little on the sides. Ooh. And last but not least, I'm gonna add a little bit more butter on top with some more onions. And there we go. Now we're just gonna wrap it up. And it is ready to go in the oven. So I'm gonna be preparing the other two fish the exact same way, but one of these fish is actually for Granny. So we're gonna be taking the fish down to Granny's house, cooking it in her oven, and then we're all three gonna eat it together, and it's gonna be so good. All right, so real quick before we head down to Granny's house, we were thinking about what we wanted to eat with the trout, and we decided that we wanted some fried eggplant and fried green tomatoes. So we're gonna get the tomatoes at Granny's house, but we have some really awesome eggplants growing out here in our garden. And I think we, oh yeah, got some big guys. So we're gonna snip a couple of these dudes and we're gonna take them down there and fry them up either as an appetizer or we're just gonna put them on the plate with the trout either way these guys will be delicious We have just about got all of our eggplants and green tomatoes ready to throw into the skillet. We've got it hot. So we've also got the trout in the oven. We preheated it to 450. They're gonna be in there for about 45 to 50 minutes, give or take a few. Uh, so we decided we're just gonna eat these as appetizers and then we've got some sweet potatoes we're gonna eat as our side with the trout. If we have some more of these left over, then we'll definitely be eating some of these also. So as y'all saw, we whisked up some eggs, dumped them in there, then we threw them in a cornmeal flour mix. Very simple, very basic. And we are ready to throw these guys in the skillet. I do believe. I think it's warm. Let me do a little, little flower test. Yep, 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 yep. We are good to go.
All right, Jay, you gonna give us a quick sampler? Here we go. How's the Fried appetizer? green tomato. Mmm. So good. Good? Mm -hmm. Like real good? Like dang good. Ooh. <laughs> I want one. I'm gonna go for it. Here you go, guys. Yep. Those are good. Good stuff. That's actually an eggplant. Eggplant's delicious also. Ooh. I've got more on the way. Uh-oh, Granny's going in there and getting her a green tomato. <laughs> what you think? It's good. Solid appetizer? <laughs> it's good. Really, it's really good. <laughs> All right, well, we only have, what time is it? 6.40? Can't really tell. The fish should be ready at about 6.45. So. I'm hungry. Yeah. 6.45, 6.50-ish, we should be good. Okay, it's been 45 minutes. Let's get this fish out of the oven. Hopefully it's done. Ooh. That smells good. Ooh. Bad gum. That's cooking. Listen that to that. That is hot. That is very hot. That's what you want to hear. You want to hear that stuff cooking. Man, I wish I could smell that. That smells good. <laughs> Real good. Now let's peek in there and see what the fish looks like. Is that hot, Jay? That is super hot. Oh, man. Ooh, Ooh that looks very... Very tasty. Wow, looks like a trout soup almost. <laughs> <laughs> it smells wow. really good. Yeah, you can just see that all that steam coming out. It is bubbling. We are definitely gonna have to let that sucker cool off for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I thought we were about to get to eat that, but I forgot we had to let it cool off. Sorry, Granny. <laughs> we'll wait till it cools. That's right. Well, we just finished editing this video and we're realizing that we lost all of our audio whenever we were eating the fish last night, but the fish was really good, yeah. <laughs> um, but we just didn't really get to share that with y'all and we're so sorry about that. And also we lost a lot of my vision clips from the other day, so I don't know what, I don't know what's been going on. We've really been struggling with our camera gear recently. Yeah, it's been a big mess. Like, we've lost so much audio from so many of our previous adventures like just if, you, if you've been noticing anything weird in our videos like something's lying not lining up it's just because we're losing audio and we don't know how to fix it so we are going to be working towards i guess getting some new equipment but you know that's that's kind of expensive but with all that being said we hope you guys enjoyed today's adventure we had a blast going out there mm -hmm. catching those trout and cooking them up for y'all so if you did enjoy the video please give this video a like and while you're at it go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you miss any of our future outdoor adventures we're calling jay and we'll see you on the next video Bye. Bye guys!